macOS by default doesn't allow us to record the internal sounds of the OS. So to fix this issue, we're going to use a small tool called Black Hole that lets us record the internal sounds alongside the microphone. To understand why we need Black Hole, it's important to understand that macOS uses a system called Core Audio to manage audio, and Black Hole creates a virtual audio cable within Core Audio, allowing us to route the audio between applications. So to download it, go to this website. It will give you an option to donate. If you can, go ahead and donate to them. If not, you can just click the other free option. Now just type in your email and name so that they can send you the download link to your email. From there, click on the link to download Black Hole. There are multiple versions of the software. We will click the two channel option. The tool is about 100 kilobytes, so it should download instantly. Now just double click the tool to open the uninstaller, then just follow the on-screen instructions to continue. Now to configure it, we're going to open the audio media setup which comes with macOS. Go to the bottom left corner and click on the plus button. Choose create multi-output device. A multi-output device tells macOS to send the same audio to multiple outputs. In this case, we're sending the system audio to both your speakers and black hole. This is how we are able to hear the audio and have it sent to the black hole virtual audio cable at the same time. In the multi-output device, ensure that you have both your desired audio output, like built-in output or your external speakers, and black hole 2 channel selected. Then go to the system settings, sound, output, and select the multi-output device you created. This will now be your system's audio output. If you also want to record your microphone at the same time as the internal audio, you will need to create an aggregate device. An aggregate device combines the inputs from multiple audio devices. This allows you to combine your microphone and the black hole virtual audio cable into a single input source. So go to the audio media setup, create an aggregate device, rename it, and check the boxes for your microphone in the black hole 2 channel. Then whenever you want to record the screen by pressing command shift 5, you can go to the audio input and select this aggregate device as your audio input. This will allow you to record both your microphone and the system audio simultaneously. If for some reason you don't want black hole in your system and don't know how to uninstall it, I will show you how to do that. For proper uninstallation, you're gonna have to go to their website again and download the uninstaller. I really don't know why they made it this way. So in the website, scroll down until you see the help and support section and click on it. Then scroll down again until you see the uninstall black hole section. Now click on the proper uninstaller for the version you installed. It's usually the first one, so we will click it. After downloading, just open it. Now follow the on-screen instructions to continue, and that's it, you've successfully uninstalled Black Hole. If you want more Mac videos, watch them from here. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. Peace.